In today's interconnected world, the arms trade is not just about economics and security. It also involves ethics and humanitarian obligation. Recently, the Supreme Court of India dismissed a public interest litigation aimed at stopping India's defense export to Israel, citing that it is a matter of foreign policy. This ruling raised important questions about whether India's defense exports align with the international humanitarian law. In regards to UPSC preparation, understanding this balance between national security, international obligations and legal framework is crucial for exams as well as for future policy roles. India has grown significantly as a defence exporter in recent years, with its defence exports increasing to over 21,000 crore rupee in 2023. While this is a major boost for India's economy and strategic standing, it also raises questions about how these exports are regulated, especially in the context of humanitarian law. Unlike UK and the European Union, India does not have explicit legal provisions that require an assessment of a recipient country's compliance with the IHL before exporting defense equipment. This gap in the legal framework is significant as it may expose India to accusation of supporting countries involved in human rights violation or war crimes. Currently, India's arm exports are governed by the Foreign Trade Act and the Weapons of Mass Destruction Act. The Foreign Trade Act gives the government the authority to regulate arms export based on national security concerns. The Weapons of Mass Destruction Act ensures that India's export comply with international obligation related to the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. However, these laws do not explicitly require consideration of the IHN compliance of the importing country. Now, let's see the role of Supreme Court and the international law. Historically, India's Supreme Court has played a critical role in incorporating international law into domestic legal frameworks. In several cases, the court has referred to international convention to fill legislative gaps. In this context, the Supreme Court could provide guidelines for aligning India's different export policies with IHL obligations rather than treating them solely as foreign policy decisions. While India is not a signatory to the Arms Trade Treaty, which prohibits arms export if there is a knowledge they may be used for war crimes, it is still bound by the common Article 1 of the Geneva Convention. This article mandates that countries ensure respect for IHL including not supplying arms to countries which likely to use them in violation of humanitarian law. International Humanitarian Law and the Arms Trade Under international humanitarian law, countries are obligated to prevent the supply of weapons to nations involved in war crimes or violation of human rights. Although the Arms Trade Treaty establishes clear rule for responsible arms trade, India's decision not to sign the treaty leaves this responsibility to domestic law. However, even without the Arms Trade Treaty, certain customary international laws may apply, urging India to consider the humanitarian impact of its defense export. Aligning India's arm trade with these principles is essential for maintaining credibility as a responsible global power. To strengthen India's legal framework on defense exports and align with the international humanitarian standard, 
several recommendations can be considered. Amending the domestic laws. India should amend the FTA and the WMDA to explicitly incorporate IHL compliance assessment for recipient countries. This would ensure that India does not export arms to countries where there is a risk of IHL violation. Strengthening Creditability By implementing IHL assessment, India could bolster its global reputation as a responsible arms exporter. This would help India foster stronger defense and trade relations with nations that prioritize humanitarian considerations in the arms trade. In the long run, ensuring compliance with the humanitarian law could open up new opportunities for India in the global defense markets. Country that value ethical arms trade would be more likely to collaborate with India, enhancing its influence in international defense circles. India's defense sector has seen tremendous growth with export reaching new heights. India has exported defense equipment to over 85 countries, contributing to its aim of becoming a global defense manufacturing hub. While this is a positive development, it also comes with responsibilities. As India expands its market, it must ensure that it adheres to the international norms and that its exports do not contribute to conflicts or humanitarian crisis. The intersection of India's defense export and humanitarian law is a critical issue that requires a thoughtful and balanced approach. While defense export are crucial for national security and economic growth, they must also align with the international humanitarian principles. In regards to the UPSC preparation, understanding this balance is key to analyzing India's role in global security and international relations. Incorporating IHL assessment into India's different export policy would not only enhance its creditability as a responsible arms exporter, but also ensure that India remains committed to upholding global humanitarian standards. If this video helped you understand India's different exports and the humanitarian law, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest insights on global security, international law and UPSC preparation.